You didn't see anyone at all? No. Doesn't make sense. You must have seen something or someone. I was busy in the surgery. Thought I saw Martha coming towards the house. She may have knocked, but... And you didn't answer the door? Why did you go outside then? With a knife? It's a pruning knife, for God's sake. I was going to the garden. What are you implying, lad? Your wife stands before us up to her elbows in blood. I don't think we're implying anything. I told you. By the time I found Malva, whoever did this, they were gone. She was already dead. But I had to try and save the baby. You believe me, don't you? Was it swift? I want to hear it from a healer's lips. How long would it have taken for her to die? If you're asking me if she suffered, then... Tell me. How long? With the cut to her throat. It would have been quick. No time to pray for forgiveness, then. A short prayer that would have made her right with God. We'll bury them out in the woods. We will not. Can't bury a whore and an illegitimate child beside God-fearing men and women. She was your daughter. He was your bastard son. He is not. Whoever he belongs to. We'll see Malva and your weak grandson laying to rest properly. Please, Mr. Christie. What? Have the angels weeping and demons rejoicing that a sinner has been buried in holy ground over my dead body? No. Over mine. If Malva and the Bairn are to be buried on my ground at the ridge, it will be after her funeral in a consecrated grave. Have I made myself clear? What are we going to stand up and say about her, eh? That Martha Christie was full of life and light, and that there was a fire in her eyes. And when I held her tiny baby, I felt that same light in him. But... The state of the body. I'll take care of her. We'll gather at the meeting house in a few days. My son-in-law will lead this service. <laughs>